Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about food preservation. Okay, in the chapter on crop production, we have discussed about how to preserve and store food grains. Okay, how do we preserve good food at home? You know that bread left unused under moist conditions is attacked by fungus. Microorganisms spoil our food. Spoiled food emits bad smell and has a bad taste and color change. So, is spoiling of food a chemical reaction? Yes, students, it is. Okay. Now, we will discuss how we can preserve our food by different methods. Okay. So, first method is chemical method. Chemical method. In this method students, what we do is, we use some preservatives like say, salt and edible oils are the common generally used to check the salts and edible oil are common chemicals. generally used to check the generally used to check the growth of microorganisms okay so therefore they are called as Therefore, they are called as preservatives. Okay, students. And preservatives are the substances used. We add salt or acid preservatives to store pickles for a long interval of time. Sodium benzoate and sodium, let me write it. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite metabisulfite are common preservatives so these are the two common preservatives preservatives okay they are also used in the jams squashes to check their spoilage okay students now second method is preservation by common salt preservation by common salt so common salt has been also used to preserve meat and fish for ages common salt has been used for has been used for preserving meat and fish for ages okay meat and fish are covered by dry salt to check the growth of bacteria so salting is also used to pre preserve Amla, raw mangoes and tamarind. Okay, so in this way, this is also act as a preservative. Now third is preservation by sugar. Preservation by sugar. So students, sugar is also another preservative. Jams, jellies. So these are the substances that are preserved with the help of and squashes squashes are preserved by sugar are preserved by sugar ok students so sugar reduces the moisture content which inhibits the growth of bacteria with spoiled food ok so now let me discuss um, another 
two method preservation by oil and vinegar and hot and cold treatments so students oil and vinegar are also used in like pickles have you ever seen your pickles that they are dipped in oil so use of oil and vinegar prevents spoilage of pickles because because bacteria cannot live bacteria cannot live in such an environment so that is why they are used as preservative in such an environment okay so that is why oil and vinegars are used as preservatives so now comes to the heat and cold treatments so it is hot and cold treatments okay students so by using hot and cold treatments we we can also preserve our food so boiling kills many microorganisms boiling kills many microorganisms micro organisms so these hot and cold treatment is also a taste preservative okay so pasteurized milk can be consumed without boiling as it is free from harmful microbes so this milk is heated to about 70 degree celsius for 15 to 30 seconds and suddenly chilled and stored by doing so it prevents the growth of microbes okay and this process was discovered by louis pasteur and that is why it is called as pasteurization so the milk we get in the packets is a pasteurized milk which is heated for 15 to 20 seconds 30 seconds at about 70 degree centigrade and it is then suddenly chilled so it is called as pasteurized milk okay students so this milk we can uh, drink it without boiling okay so i hope that you guys are pretty clear about what we have discussed in this chapter and if you have still any question or any doubt based on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there in the next lecture we will discuss about nitrogen cycle thank you students happy learning